We are going to walk through how you can get started with your Collate free tier instance. Um, first and foremost, we're going to sign in to our free tier instance. And then upon signing in, we're going to be welcomed by a nice little getting started page where we can import our metadata. So connecting to your organization's you know, specific sources. Also the ability to load sample data to treat this more as a sandbox for your experimentation and testing. And then lastly, of course we wanna collaborate. So we have the ability to add additional users in this free tier instance. So let's kind of see what these have. So if I go to the import now, it will take me to our documentation for Collate SAS. It will also take us to our documentation for our hybrid model, which leverages our Collate agent. We'll be showing off how we can do these two just in a moment, um, but really helpful to know that we have this little walkthrough to you know, support you on your way. Also, we have the ability to load sample data. Um, we'll do that at the end just to show how easy it is to get ramped up. And then the ability to add new users um, to collaborate and you know have your team on board as well. If you miss this getting started pane, don't worry. It's always going to be present here on your homepage in this top right hand corner where again you can import your metadata, see the different documentations for each. You can load your sample data or you can add your additional users. But let's get started today with adding a specific data source through the SAS approach. So we're going to go to settings, services, database, add new service. I'm going to search for Snowflake, next. Free tier. And then I input my username, my password, my account my warehouse <clears throat> my database and now i should be able to test my connection So we are good to go. We've successfully connected. So then we can save this. Note, we also have our network settings here. So if you need to you know, add any policies or configurations, this is the IP address that you can use. Um, gonna hit save for now. And then now the fun part is adding the ingestion. The first ingestion is going to be the metadata. Um, here we offer some inclusions or exclusions at the database schema or table level. So just a variety of different options that we have here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. Run this on demand, but we can also schedule this. And then I can view service. I can go to my ingestions now and I chose on demand. So I'm running it manually. And now this is going to ingest the metadata into collate. <clears throat> and then after a few moments, you can either you know check on the logs or refresh the screen to see the recent runs and see what the status is. So it's running and we can see that we've already brought in the database for Snowflake sample data. We brought in the information schema and a number of different tables has already made its way into this service here that we've just set up. So in a matter of a few clicks, we have gotten um, data into this um, um, free tier sample service that we've just set up for Snowflake. So that's one way of doing it. This is the SaaS approach. The other way is to leverage our hybrid agent. Um, we can, in our hybrid agent 
set up um, essentially using our local web server a way to ingest metadata into Collate by pushing it in as opposed to pulling it from Collate. So we have our local ingestion server here. So this is running on my local machine. We have a Docker image that you can use to get this set up and configured. What you need is your Collate URL. So you can find that here. This is your Collate URL. And then we need our ingestion bot token. We can get our ingestion bot token by going to settings, bots, and then we have a number of bots. We're looking for our ingestion bot, so we can go to ingestion bot, and we can just copy and paste that over into here. So just different ways we can get the ingestion bot token configured um, to add additional services like so. And in just a second here, we are going to connect to this ingestion. Let me just make sure I paste it in correctly. And I am going to hit ingest metadata. So now I am connected to that Collate free tier instance. But again, this is running on my local machine. I would then go to database. I can add a new service here. I'm going to go with Snowflake again. I'm going to call this hybrid snowflake. Hit next. And again, just in the UI, I am going to pass through these values. So, you know, no need to configure any YAML files or anything complicated. This can all be done through the UI, nice and simple. But again, this with the added benefit of this is running from your machine as opposed to, you know, collates side of things. And then I am missing the database and I add that Snowflake sample database in here. <clears throat> and then I test connection again. And we are good. And then again, I go to add my ingestion. And then here I have a variety of ingestions from metadata to profiling to lineage. So all things that can be set up with our local web server. Um, but now we need to set up metadata again. And I'm just going to hit run now. I also had the option to download my config. So this would actually download the YAML for you. So you can actually use this agent as a mechanism to just set up your YAMLs even. So that makes it, you know, incredibly handy as well while you, you know, move to a production S deployment and you aren't relying on this local agent in the future. Um, so again, this is going to bring in the metadata. So the tables and columns and schemas um, for that Snowflake object that were you know targeted at that snowflake sample data and here in real time we're able to see the logs and then if we were to go back here we can go to settings services databases and now i have my hybrid snowflake here where i'm starting to bring in this sample snowflake data um, so really helpful really handy in that regard as well where we can you know connect via the agent we do have this nice and convenient web agent that you can pull from our docker image um, and just set up on your local machine to get started you know playing and you know experimenting and testing your collate free tier instance so those are the two major ways to ingest your sample data um, however there is a third option we can download sample data straight from collate where if I click on this load option, we are going to load a variety of different types of sample data. So we're going to see different data sources come in like Snowflake or Redshift. We're also going to see, you know, maybe Power BI or Looker or different um, elements like that or your pipelines. And here in the data assets, it looks like it's done. So if I refresh my screen, 
we'll see all that sample data just from clicking on that load sample. So we have BigQuery, Superset, Kafka, Airflow, Elasticsearch, MySQL, Looker, all automatically done for you on the fly just like that. And then of course you want to add things like lineage and profile, you're more than welcome to do so in here. And then you want to invite users. To invite users you click on this invite icon. It's going to take you to the admin, um, the getting started. But to add users you can just go to settings, team and user management, users, and then we can just add with their email and generate a password and choose to make them an admin or not. So super easy to get people collaborating and super easy to get started with Collate, whether you're connecting to your own sources or you know doing it via our hybrid agent or just loading our sample data. Um, super easy, super fun, super quick to get experimenting you know, with the Collate platform. Thank you for your time. <clears throat>